Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It is Andrew here from IDB. It is only pertinent that we release our Thunderbolt 3 dock roundup right as the new iMac Pro is being released. We have, I believe, six different Thunderbolt 3 docking stations and storage solutions for you to consider when looking for external options for your iMac Pro or your MacBook Pro. All offer different degrees of versatility all over that single Thunderbolt 3 cable. First up on our list is the Thunderbolt docking station from Elgato. It has a really nice design and aluminum exterior, a USB-A port on the front as well as a microphone input and audio output. Around back, you can see the Ethernet, two USB-A ports, two Thunderbolt 3 ports, and a display port, as well of course as the power adapter. This also happens to be one of the smaller docks that we have in our roundup. The Thunderbolt 3 dock from Kensington is up next on our list with another really nice exterior featuring that aluminum finish. On front you can see a USB-C port as well as a USB Type-A port. Around back even more including Ethernet, USB Type-A, microphone in, audio out, and even a Kensington lock spot. That is something that we have not seen on pretty much any of the other docks in the lineup. That is very uh, something special to them on their dock, so security is a concern uh, that should be taken into consideration. The Belkin Express Dock HD is next with a USB-A port and dual-purpose headset option in the front with the be Ethernet in the back as well as an audio out, dual USB-A ports, dual Thunderbolt 3 ports, a display port, and of course power. OWC runs next on our list, another aluminum finish around the outside, with kind of a glossy top. I don't love the glossy top, but I do love the fact they have an SD card port on the front as well as that USB Type-A and headset slot. On the back, we have a ton of USB-A ports, which I know many people like, as well as two Thunderbolt ports, optical audio, Firewire, Gigabit Ethernet, and DisplayPort. CalDigit actually has two on our list of Thunderbolt 3 products. The first one is this smaller, more contact, compact solution with USB-A and some audio ports on the front, as well as a bunch of others on the back, including eSATA, Gigabit Ethernet, USB Type-A, and DisplayPort. I do really like that they include eSATA on here. I love the versatility of working vertically or horizontal with this dock. It is such a really compact size. This is the smallest one on our list and has some of the most intriguing options, especially if you're looking for something more powerful like eSATA. This behemoth from Lassier is another Thunderbolt 3 dock, but it also doubles as a stored solution with two large drives built into it and configured into a RAID configuration. On the front, you can see the USB-A slot, as well as an SD card and compact flash card reader, which is super handy. Long back, you have DisplayPort, two Thunderbolt, a USB Type-C 3.1 spot, and even a Kensington lock spot. So there's a second one with a Kensington lock solution. I love that the drives are easily swappable. They can be removed extremely easy to upgrade the storage or just swap them between multiple drives for storage. In the same vein as the Lossier 2 Big Drive is the CalDigit AV Pro 2. Now technically this is not Thunderbolt 3 but instead it uses USB-C instead but because of some other rigging that they do, such as the UASP or USB Attached SCSI protocol, it's able to dramatically improve the performance and make it comparable to other Thunderbolt 3 drives. It has a hard drive inside of it, a nice quiet fan along the back, two USB-A ports, a USB-C, and a micro-B USB port on the back to interface with your computer. The drive is also easily swappable, so you can remove it to upgrade the storage or just keep several drives around and alternate between them depending on what you're working on. Like every other one on the list, it also offers pass-through charging up to 30 watts. Trying to narrow it down and pick the absolute best drive is really hard. Some have unique options, like Kensington offers that Kensington lock spot, which some people dramatically need. Others, like OWC, offer an SD card reader, which very few of them actually do. OWC is also one of the few to offer DisplayPort Mini instead of the normal DisplayPort. If compactness is for you, then you're looking at the CalDigit option on the top. Same thing if you're looking for eSATA. If you could use some storage at the same time, take a look at the CalDigit AV Pro 2 or the Lassier 2 Big Drive. What it comes down to is you need to look at what you need now as well as what you'll need in the future. In the future, are you going to need a ton of USB-A ports or will you need more USB-C and Thunderbolt ports? What other drives and peripherals do you use that you'll need to plug in to your Thunderbolt 3 dock? Personally, as a video professional, storage is pretty important. So my two favorites go to the Lassier 2 Big Drive as well as the CalDigit. 
The only downside with the La Cie drive is it offers pretty slow pass through charging for my laptop, so I still need to keep my power cable plugged in at the same time. Now that we've covered pretty much all of these, I want to hear what you guys have to think. So let me know which, which one of these is your favorite down below in the comments or if there's any others out there that you like better than these six docks. Let us know, check out all the links below in the description, give us a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Till next time, this is Andrew for IDB.